What's up, Popper fans? Brent Cook here, and today I am playing in a Popper challenge this Sunday afternoon with my favorite deck, Cycle Storm. I actually uploaded a video with this exact deck list two weeks ago, and you can check that out in the card above. But today I'm not going to do an in depth deck tech. If you want information on this deck list, definitely check out that video. I go card by card and explain everything from the basic lands, Ash Barons, all the way to Blood Celebrant and the sideboard cards. So definitely check that out, and I'm sure that you'll enjoy it. If you want to support us, there's no better way than leaving a comment, liking, and subscribing. Those three things are all completely free to do. They help me get into the YouTube algorithm and they help me know that you want to watch more proper content. So if you want to support me, that's how you do it. And if you want to go to that next level, there's a join button next to the subscribe button. That button is to become a member of this channel. And in there, you will find things like badges and emotes, cyborg guides, donation deck information, all that good stuff. So definitely go check that out. We also have donation decks over at the epicstorm.com slash shop, where you can submit your combo deck to be featured here on this very channel. You can even be in a video if you sign up for the Epic tier. So you can come showcase your ideas yourself. No me guessing. It's great. Definitely go check that out. We also have card singles over at theepicsroom.com slash shop. And I've uploaded a bunch of new cards recently. So definitely go check that out. We also have a ton of sweet, sweet storm swag from pints glasses to token packs, t-shirts, pens, playmats. We've got it all. Definitely go check that out. But today we will be definitely using the new mini token pack two, keeping track of our mana and storm count. It goes perfect with playing this deck. You get 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, five green, five white, three colorless, 20 storm, galvanic relay exile token, four treasure tokens for strike it rich and 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. If you're a fan of modern, a progenitor ooze has arrived, slime time. The power toughness is already built into the tokens. There's no need to fumble around with dice. We've got your back. And then you popper fans are probably not going to be like these ones. Squirrels versus goblins. Empty the Wardens versus Chatterstorm. If you're still using these cards, you get 20 of each. Squirrels, goblins, battle them against each other. I don't care. They're a part of the token pack and they're on the back. And you can get all of this for $13. 64 double-sided tokens. So essentially you're getting 128 tokens. Go check that out. All right, that's my short and sweet intro today. This event's going to fire in just a few minutes, and I still have to sign up. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll see you in match number one. Hopefully we get to cycle some fools today. Welcome to round number one. We are on the play against Carves. Uh, I've played them a bunch recently, and they've been on Affinity, but I'm not sure if that's changed. This hand is a keep. We have a cycler. We have double street rates. We have a land. Like it, It's just great. We just have to find a raping the graves. Okay. Swamp into pass. Okay. Oh, don't on F6, my bad. So it does look like affinity. Cycle. Okay. Looking for land two here. Cycle the architect. All right, no second land. We're going to cycle street rates. There's a payoff. Okay, no land. Um, that's seven in hand. We just pass. <clears throat> Interesting. Maybe not affinity. Could be like a wildfire ramp deck. May want to turn off the auto yield. Okay, Spear Supply. So it looks like they're on a mid-range deck. These decks usually do have some Bajooka Bogs in them, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Alright. No land, we just have to pass here. I think next turn might be a turn that I want to try to go off. Okay, that's good. No Bajooka Bog is something that I do like. They could have abraded my pedal. Alright, I think I'm going for it. Cycle the Dino, and then we're going to cast Cabal Ritual. Really just want to hold on to the songs to get the most mana out of it that you can. Calarian Winds is actually pretty good here. Dark Ritual, Petal. Let's cast Songs. We have a bunch of mana floating. Now we go and get Reaping the Graves. 
And now what we do is we sacrifice this for a blue, cast Valyrian Winds, and then in response, reaping the graves back a whole bunch of creatures. Okay. Perfect. So we have seven mana floating. I could try to cycle these, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to take the fresh, like, nine or ten cards, whatever it is. Uh, nine cards. Okay, that was pretty good. Um, I could cycle this for a blue source to cast Ploy as well. Okay. Cycle. Cycle. Love Blood Celebrant. Cycle. All right, so that Songs of the Damned should probably do it. Um, let's cycle the Baron more. And this Baron more. Okay. So I kind of want them to try to kill it in response to the songs. I don't think it's going to happen because I'd like to think that our opponent isn't a dummy. Uh, but you never know. All right, let's cast Ploy. All right, let's cycle. Another Ash Barons. Let's flash back the Ploy. By flashback, I mean jumpstart, different name. And if they try to kill it, I'm just going to filter a bunch of mana. Okay. 20 cards left in deck. There's three Reaping the Graves in those 20 cards. Cycle. What songs? We only have the one Teachings. Okay, so now we can do this. We'll just make a bunch of red mana. Let's make another blue just in case. And why not? Let's make another red. There we go. So that, that can resolve now. Teachings. Um, I should actually get another teachings. This is kind of a cool line. So then I get songs. This way I just like don't fizzle. Now we get Reaping the Graves. <sighs> I love you, Blood Celebrant. You're a fantastic card. Come home to me. Selecting all of our creatures to return here. Okay. This takes a lot of fun to play. <laughs> all right, Stinger. Stinger, Stinger, and let's start cycling. Cycle. Cycle the Street Wraith, why not? Now 
Okay. Almost there. Perfect. Boom. That's game number one. Cycle Storm doing its thing. We did avoid some graveyard hate, though, so that's good. And now we're going to bring in Shredded Sails for Relics. Um, it's just we need to. Also, uh, now Spell Bomb, like, the type of deck our opponent's playing usually has those effects. So let's just uh, do what we can to not lose to those. We can board out the Tolarian Winds. I like Shaving a Petal when I'm bringing in the 13th land. It's also color fixing a little bit, but allows you to just, like, cast these naturally, and I, I like that. Excuse me. Um, and then I think probably taking out, like, one Architect. <clears throat> In the past, I've boarded more Poison in this matchup, but I just don't feel like that's actually where I want to be. So I'm just going to play it safe, make sure I don't lose the Relic, and try to execute my game plan properly. Okay, so we did not open up a land. Um, yikes, this hand would be so good if this Lotus Petal was a land. I think I have to Mulligan. Okay, we can bottom pedal here and keep this. It looks like our opponent is going to five cards, so they're mulliganing for their hate piece. If they do just like mulligan into relic, we can just like try to ritual out uh, horror of the broken lands and get them that way. Okay. Ooh, maybe I was supposed to board in Flaring Pain. I didn't even consider that they could be a Prismatic Strand stack. I feel kind of dumb now for not thinking about that. Sure. Bringing the clock. So they have Inspector, one of these lands, and one unknown. Okay. Let's cycle the Architect. I'm going to get rid of the Horror. I don't think I'm on the beatdown plan. Get the mountain pass. They are the monarch. So they have inspector and two unknowns. Let's cycle this. Alright, the songs was a good pickup. I think that this is probably go time. And the reason I say that is like I could try to wait a turn, but Bajuka Bog is a concern that I have, but also like them just having um like prismatic strands kind of scares me. So if I go for it, I only have three cards in the graveyard, four or five after ritual. It's not a lot of mana. All right, I'm going to play this out and just pass. Okay, so I'm going to take six here going down to seven. Another core sky fish are okay. Inspector. So they don't have prismatic strands up. All right, let's cycle. And I can't filter a black to cycle the horror, so I have to do that on my turn. Okay, it's now or never. Cycle. Okay, so mana is going to be our choke point this game. I feel like I'm, I'm not supposed to cast this teachings because it's a break even with songs. So I should just cast this, reaping the graves, and use this to get another songs later.
And there's no reason to do the uh, the stack trick here. I'm returning five cyclers. I guess I can, in case I just hit a string of them. It doesn't really matter. I have not played a land yet. Okay, I'm just going to return the other three after drawing that. Cycle. Cycle. More mana is always welcome. Okay, so... If I, I guess I have the Celebrant in play, so it's not that big of a deal. I can cycle this. I guess if their card in hand is like a Pyroblast, I get got here. This makes seven. All right, I'm going to sack a pedal so that way I can make it make eight. And I'm going to cast the ritual here so that way I can cycle the Baron more to see if I can hit more creatures. Okay. We're not there yet. So I don't even know how many creatures I'm returning here. So I could try to play double stinger, but if they have a removal spell, it actually hurts me quite a bit. Uh, we do have teachings. If I want to try to go deeper. So if I play Double Stinger, I'd have six mana left, which is enough to cycle these. Uh, and with that six mana, I can deal 12 damage, assuming they don't have any removal. So that's half their life total. I think I'm supposed to just try to um, keep moving and don't play out the stuff yet. Okay. A little bit nervous right now. I'm not... Convinced I have this game. Whoops. Cycle. So they don't have three artifacts for uh, Galvanic Blast. So I think I can cycle the Street Wraith, which would put me to five, and then I can use this going to four at some point. Okay, I need to draw some mana. So I could have previously flashed back the mystical teachings for songs, but I don't have that many creatures in the graveyard, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to make that play. Now I'm one mana short of teachings. Come on, give me a Cabal Ritual here, please. Songs. There's the songs. Okay, um, so they made 11 mana. So I'm in a tough spot right now. Um, I think I'm supposed to keep cycling because if I want to cast the teachings from hand, I have to lose life. Uh, so I go to four, and that means if I get back Reaping the Greaves, I have to pay a life to start, and I'm in Lightning Bolt range. So I'm going to keep cycling here, see if I can go a little bit deeper. Cycle. Okay. 
Okay. What songs number is that? One, two, three, four. So that's all of the songs. Um, there's only one Lotus Petal. Okay, let's get back reaping. I just really don't want to die to Lightning Bolt. So there's actually a play that I can make here um, where I wouldn't die to Bolt if our opponent had it. Because we do have the ploy left in the deck, I can teachings for ploy, but it's going to eat up almost all of my mana. So if they have Bolt... It's either that or start cycling. Um, I'm just going to not play around Bolt. If you have Bolt, you have Bolt. Okay, so they don't have Lightning Bolt. Cabal Ritual is a fantastic draw. Okay. So I can't go to one or else I lose the ability to ploy. Okay. Cycle the Architects. Now they're tapped out. So I, I just have it from here. Okay. Six cards left in deck, and there's our ploy. Just need to keep cycling, and we're almost there. Our trusty Lotus Petal. And that is match number one. We have defeated, I don't know what to call this deck, Mardu Ramp. Maybe that's appropriate. Uh, but yeah, we are 1-0. I will see you in match number two. Welcome back for round number two. We are on the Dragon's Fine Spoo. And according to Goldfish, they like to play Red Black Affinity, No Blue, Hyper Aggressive. I'm a little bit worried. Uh, we are on the draw and we have a tap land. So while this hand has everything we could possibly want, our land coming to play tapped is kind of an issue, and we only have one land. So if this Mystical Teachings was an untapped land, this hand would honestly be pretty close to perfect. But instead, I am worried about Dying Day Tog Fling on turn three or four. Uh, maybe they're on something new today. All right, I don't mind the Street Wreath pickup. Planes. All right, so they're on something new. Okay, blue-white of some sort. Love the land draw. Beautiful. I wonder if it's uh, familiars. And they played an island instead of the plains there. The Seagate Oracle. This looks a lot like familiars. Okay, let's cycle off the black land for this, and then we can use the blue for this stinger. Okay. Cycle. I don't think I'm going to jam this turn. Feels a little bit reckless to just go all out here. So next turn we will cycle Street Wreath. That will put us to five cards in Graveyard. Uh, I don't love that. So instead of going off next turn, depending on what they do, I might just cast Ploy and Pass or Ploy on their own step. 
It can change with our draws, obviously. Like, we'll have one draw for turn and one draw street rate, so nothing is set in stone. Ponder, okay. And Ponder is finally finished resolving. Okay. What do we have here? And there's a Sunscape Familiar. This is definitely Familiars. All right, we might want to use this as an opportunity to try to go off here. Perfect draw. Love the second Street Wraith. Okay, I think we found a window. Love the Dark Ritual. Actual perfects. Okay, we're going for it. Cast Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Cycle this Horror. Cycle. Keep going. Let's make this uh, Songs of the Damned worth more mana. Our Storm Count's a little bit low, so what I might do is I might Teachings for another Songs. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense here. Okay, so now we can Teachings for Songs. And if you wanted to, you could actually Teachings for the third Songs. I just worry about uh, not being able to have enough mana, but we would have another Songs left. So that made 12. So it essentially makes five mana. So we go up to 27 mana down to 24 mana. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that line because that way our Reaping the Graves returns more creatures. It's a little bit risky, but I think it's fine. Okay. Start at the bottom, I guess. Okay. Now we're just looking for a red source. Honestly, I'd love to draw the Blood Celebrant right here. Okay, Swamp. Like that as a pickup. Cycle like these three raids, why not? There's a red source. Great Stinger. Cycle like Street Wraith. And that is the last Songs of the Damned that's in the deck. This should be a pretty easy win now. No red source to get with that, no point in cycling. Okay. Not going to be using that. Um, I could pull the other two lands out of the deck. This doesn't feel like a good use of mana to me. All right, let's get the rest of these creatures back. Okay. Cycle. There's another pedal, so now we can play another stinger. This should move a little bit more quickly now. Okay. We're going to take game number one over familiars. I actually don't have a lot of experience battling against familiars with this deck, so it will be interesting. Okay. And that is game number one. So I do think we want to spell and uh, pyroblast. I don't know if we want to rest or not. What I found is against a lot of these counter spell decks, you sort of just want to make them spend their mana. At least in my experience. So you could board in the dress. You could also technically board in Fairy Macabre because they're a deck that tries to recur from the graveyard over and over. But I don't think that's the axis that you want to fight them on. Um. So we're over right now. We do have to find a few more slots to board out. I think it's supposed to just be the Architects. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. A friendly reminder, I am a part of the Eternal Glory podcast. So if you're liking this content, definitely check out the podcast. We're available on all major podcast platforms. It is myself, Bryant Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher, we primarily discuss legacy. That said, a lot of the stuff that we talk about transcends just legacy, goes into all formats, overall deck building theory, stuff like that. So definitely check us out. We're highly entertaining, and I guarantee that you'll love it. Game number two, and we're on the draw. We've opened up lands and spells and cyclers. Keep. Another Terramorphic Expanse. Okay. Baron Moore, get that black land into play tapped. I don't know if I'll play this one out yet. I sort of want to cycle and reevaluate. 
I think turn two, I'm probably going to play the island. They shuffled off Ponder. Okay. Let's just pass. This game is looking awfully familiar to game one right now. Okay, so let's cycle a little bit here. All right, no land yet. Cycle the Wraith, why not? Okay. So now we can go get our mountain and pass the turn. So now if we draw either Dispel or Pyroblast, we have some backup. Preordain, you got it. One on top, one on the bottom of the Preordain, and now they're just passing. Sure, you can attack. I'll allow it. Are you going to cast a spell here? Come on, tap out for another Seagate Oracle. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Nothing will happen. Ooh, I lied to you. I lied to you so good, and now you're dead. How does that feel? All right, so we are likely cycling the Dranith Healer off the mountain, and then the Baron Moor off this. Um, I think we want to keep the Stinger in our hand. We might even cast it towards our Storm Count. I'm not sure. Okay. So we have six in the graveyard. Hmm. I don't love this, if I'm being honest. Part of me wonders if I'm supposed to just, like, cycle and pass and come back. Play the slightly longer game. So, we have six cards in Graveyard, which means I need to cycle before I get going. So, I would have to cycle this Stinger off one of these two lands, and then Cabal Ritual up to five. That means that this makes five. I can Horror... Maybe I should just go for it. Okay. Now we cycle these two creatures. All right, I like drawing the Street Wraith. That was good. That was also good. Let's cycle the Baron more. Did not need another Teachings. Okay, so I think we're supposed to cast uh, Teachings for another songs here. Wish that these songs made more mana. Um... All right, and we're going to be doing the cycling trick here, trying to maximize the amount of cards that we see and drawing into another songs. Okay. We can play the Ash Barons untapped, which is kind of nice. A lot of land so far, jeez. Okay, well, there's the songs. That's good. So now we have one songs left in the deck. Cycle. A lot of land. That makes 11. Um, just trying to think. 28 cards left. So if I songs right here, that is spell number 8, 9 would be Reaping the Graves. I'd play Stinger and I'd have 8 Cyclers. Um, I just don't know if that's enough. Alternatively, I could Teachings for the last songs, which essentially makes four mana um but i would get all of the creatures in the graveyard back it's a little bit risky but uh i think it's the right line we do have a lot of rituals left in the deck let's go okay so we're gonna start off by playing one of the stingers here and then hoping to draw into one of the remaining Lotus Petals. I guess we only have one remaining Lotus Petal. And then Blood Celebrant. Right, well, let's start off on cycling these just because they don't cost any mana. Dark Ritual is a welcomed pickup. Hell yeah. Another Stinger. Where's that Blood Celebrant though? Not going to complain about drawing dark rituals. But all of my fear about not having enough mana just went out the window. Okay. I'm going to hang on to that because there's, I don't want to say it out loud, but there's a chance that I fizzle here. And uh, I don't want to burn the Cabal Ritual if I don't need to. Yikes. Only two more redraws here. 
I'm gonna get punished for playing out those dark rituals early when I thought like it didn't matter. Okay. Nothing matters. I'm just super lucky. So I go. And there's the petal. So now after this reaping the graves, I can play another stinger. And this is going to do it. So we're going to be 2-0 over familiars. Tapping out on turn four against me. What were they thinking? All right, jokes aside, let's just finish this off. Cast our stinger. And let's cycle. The cycling dinosaur loves to ride bikes. Okay. That's all, folks. We are 2-0 over familiar. Stick around for match number three. All right, round number three. I'll be honest, the round ended early, and I did not realize that this round had started. So we are already down on clock. Uh, we will keep this. Opponent quickly mulliganing down to five. All right, let's kick it off. Island go. They're also an island deck, okay. Cycle. Okay. I mean, I don't hate drawing songs, but it could have been better. Okay, I should probably cycle the architect here. In case I draw a colorless land, I could cycle off this if I want to. And I'm just going to pass. No need to play a Lotus Petal. Okay, Evolving Wilds. What is your splash color if you have one? Or are you going to get another island? They selected another island. Okay. Boom! Love the land draw. Now they have an Ash Barrens. Okay. And they selected another island. All right, so they're blue-black. Against the red variant, I think that horror is a lot better because you can mess with how good Scred is. But blue-black just has a clean answer. Which makes it a lot more difficult. Um, I'm gonna play off the pedal in case I am forced to not play a land here. Okay. Is there a snap going to just counter anything there? Part of me wonders if I should try to do something here. So risky. I think I'm gonna be a coward and just pass. Okay. I'm actually kind of surprised that they countered the pedal. They're giving me a window to win here. I think we need to take this. Come on, Doc. Boom! Love it. Okay. Let's try to do this quickly so I can make up for some of that clock I lost. Let's cast the uh, Cabal so I don't burn a blue mana on accident. Cycle. And this should do it. You can play both stingers and just quickly end the game. Okay. Stinger. Stinger. All right, so we need to hit five more cyclers off these. There's one. Well, he's honestly not a bad draw. That's going to do it. So we've taken game one over blue black fairies, the best deck in popper. Okay. I think I'm supposed to just like play another reaping the graves here. Just trying to do this quickly. This is good enough. Okay, we've taken game number one. But like I said, I don't like boarding in duress versus control decks just because they Go, okay, it resolves and then counter with another mana. Dress is really for combo matchups and Dispel and Power Blaster for the control matchup. So we're going to board out Petal again. Board out this Tolarian Winds. And then we're three over. And I like just boarding out the Architects, calling it a day. Um, you can board in Shredded Sails if you feel like you need to, but I don't know. I guess the bright side is you can use it to kill a Spell Stutter. If you want to board this in, I think you almost have to board out of Teachings. It's like Teachings or the Blood Celebrant, I think. I guess you could also board out Ploy. 
Let's try that. We have Dranith Healer to gain life if we need to for the Blood Celebrant. Because you're really just keeping Ployan to keep Street Wraith and Celebrant live, but you could just like play a healer if you need to. This hand's pretty good. Okay. Play the Baron more and pass. Ponder. They chose to shuffle off Ponder, okay. Draw. And I'm going to be lazy and just do this main phase to save time. Okay, and I'm just going to pass. All right, and due to our opponent having a Fairy Seer, who dress hurts here, um, the Shredded Sales plan of killing Spellstutter Sprite will not work unless they try to counter something with a greater mana cost. And I imagine here they just take the Reaping the Graves, but I don't know. And they agree. Brainstorm. Another fairy seer. Okay. They are down to three cards. Two on the bottom. So they didn't want either of the cards that they had. Draw. Let's cycle these. In theory, I could like ritual out a street wraith, but I don't think that's uh really what we want to be doing. Okay, so next turn I can cast Teachings and go get another Reaping the Graves. Spiritane. I can probably slow down my pace of play a little bit. Like, we're at 18 minutes. We're in game two. Let's just play tight. Okay, you, ninja here. No ninja. Okay, let's cycle. Ash Baron. Okay. We can just pass. They have four cards in hand. We're going to 11 life. Here's the ninja. So now we go to 10. Teachings. All right, so we technically have a window here if I were to get lucky, but I don't think based on what we have currently, that's going to be possible. Cycle. Cycle. So, I could flashback teachings, but it doesn't do anything. So I think if I if I cycle Baron more and hit like a songs, maybe. Okay, we just have to pass. Yeah, and they have a bunch of uh, mana available now, and cards in hand. That's so gonna be tough for us. And they're just gonna pass. I think we just pass and uh, convert these three cards on their end step. I do have Dispel and Pyroblast in the deck, so we could draw into some protection spells. Sure. All right, so this is going to put us to four, which means the spell stutter sprite could be lethal. We know that they still have one Fairy Seer in hand, and they're choosing not to play Fairy Seer. Step one. We need some action, though. Uh, not action, uh, interaction. My bad. Okay. Am I allowed to have a dark ritual? Dark ritual. The ball ritual. The ball ritual? Okay. Um... I think we just graves for six. I don't want to get back Street Wraith because if we cycle into another Street Wraith, I want to be able to cycle it. Okay, so cycle. What we want off this is like a Songs of the Damned plus uh, another Dispel or another. Um, Pyroblast their songs. Blood Celebrant. Okay. Cycle this. I think I'm actually going to play this and cycle the Stinger. I want to keep the Black Mana floating. Alright, so we have all of the songs of the damned in the world. Uh, we just have to get these to resolve. Alright, I'm going to go to two. Does this resolve? 
What, Celebrant? Please counter this. Okay. So... Um, that song's number one, right? Yeah, so there's still one more in the deck after these. Okay, so this one's going to resolve this last one. Now we can flashback teachings, go get Reaping the Graves. There's a Reaping the Graves uh, for with five mana floating, so we're nowhere near guaranteed to win this. 15. Okay. I think what I actually want to do is play out a healer because I can use healer to stay alive, but also cycle all these street rates. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill them with stinger, so let's convert this into white healer. Do I want to play a stinger? Probably. Okay. Cycle. They have three in the air, so I need to be above three life, possibly four to avoid uh, the ninja. We have the last songs. That's so good. Um, I mean, it doesn't actually make that much mana right now, but still good. So 18, this makes how much mana? Three, two. So I guess I want to stay above dying to a ninja off the top, right? So I can cycle one Wraith, go to two, and then this would make three mana. I feel like it's pretty risky. Okay. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to cycle these. Come on, Dark Ritual. Not a Dark Ritual. So this puts me up to two life after it resolves. So the question is if I want to play another healer or another stinger. I think the answer is actually another healer. Right, cycle of Dino. The ball ritual was good. Play a stinger. Don't think I want to play another stinger. Cycle this. Be cycle for free. Cycle. This game's really interesting. Teachings that doesn't do anything. So our best draw here is a dark ritual. Yeah, we have uh, two dark rituals. We have two left. So two and 13. We did not hit. Okay. Um, cycle this. Okay. And I have eight cards in hand. I have to go to clean up and I can discard an Ash Barons. Actually, maybe I should have kept the Ash Barons. It's a cycler. And they just conceded. Wow, we got the match. We are now 3-0. We just defeated the best deck in Popper. Here we come, Popper. Uh, Cycle Storm is the real deal. Stick around for match number four. Okay, welcome back for round number four. And we are on the play. No clue what our opponent's playing, but we're going to keep this. Turn one, Baronmore. Turn two, Cycle the Ash Barons. We're a Baron-themed deck. And then, you know, keep cycling. All right. What are you on? Forest? Maybe elves? Bogles. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a draw here. I think we need to get the swamp so we can cycle the horror. I actually like my Bogles matchup, but I'm a little bit worried that we're really light on cyclers here. Okay. Cycle the six. Okay, I don't mind another cycler. Draw. Go get the island. Cycle. Alright, we need more creatures if we're going to be able to win this. That's a fast clock. Okay. That's nine coming in. That's yeah, just not good enough. Uh, so they already have lethal on board. 
I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. So I can put two pedals to the graveyard, which is six cards. Uh, Cabal Ritual doesn't do anything. I mean, the second one would be Threshold, technically. I think I just have to burn one. Okay. So I think maybe how we get through this is if we somehow find the one of ploy. I don't know. It's not very likely. Like, my draw just didn't work this game. Well, there's the ploy. Come on, deck. So this technically counts as a discarded card for ploy. Um, okay, I just hope that keeps me alive, that they don't have any other enchantments in their hand. And we are super dead. Okay. So nothing mattered. Uh, we're just going to try to win the post war games. The draw just didn't work that game. It happens sometimes. Uh, let me look at a recent Bogles list. I don't know if I'm supposed to board. Some of these decks have Dispel on the board, but I think I'm supposed to just try to power through. I guess I could board in, like, two duress, but I think I just want to try to, you know, do my thing. Okay. Can't keep that. And we're going to five. Yikes. Deck kind of failed me this round. Get rid of that, and... I think we're supposed to keep both lands. Gonna need to get pretty lucky to win this, I think. If you wanted to, you could be super greedy and put back the second land and keep the Horror of the Broken lands. I don't think that's what you should do. Like, if you draw another land, obviously the Bear Moor gets worse. But if you don't hit the land, you get stuck cycling one card a turn, and I just don't think that's good enough. Okay. Utopia Sprawl. White. Cycle. Cycle. So Tellurian wins is a little bit awkward here. That said, if we're ever to the point where we can set up songs, wins, graves, it's going to be good. Pickle Stinger. Yikes. Armadillo Cloak? Okay. So they don't have Mask or um, the white one. At least not yet. Cycle. I'm going to wait a turn. If they kill me, they kill me. I just don't feel very confident going off like this. Okay, so that's 8 damage. And they're at 30, 29. Okay. So if I cast both songs, that means that this is Threshold. I think I just need to, unfortunately. Alright, return these. Like I said, we're going to have to get pretty lucky to win this. Okay. Cycle Street Wraith. Yeah, I don't mind another Cabal Ritual. Maybe we can get lucky with the Tolarian wins at some point. Okay, another Dark Ritual cycle. Okay, it fell a little bit short there. Let's see if uh, this will be better. Okay. I think I'm actually supposed to cycle here in case I get a songs. All right, there's the pedal. I'm going to stop, because now I can Tolarian wins. Okay, you might be thinking, like, why not Mystical Teachings for songs? There's no creatures in the graveyard right now, so it's just not a good line. Okay, we're back in business. I'm at two, so I can't cycle the Street Wraith. Cycle. There's Ploy. Okay, um... So I can ploy here. Okay. And so I'm allowed to cycle Street Wraith. Which means that Songs makes 10. And now I can play Celebrant. So I have one more Songs left in the deck, and it makes 10 mana. 
cycle. That was good. So I can teach things for the last songs. I feel like that's probably the line here. And then reaping the graves should get the job done. I feel like we pulled this one on over bot. Okay, so I can actually play all four healers. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah. I can play all four stingers and then just start shooting. Which uh, is one of my favorite things about playing this deck, and I mentioned it in the video from a couple weeks ago. But I can't help but think of the It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia meme uh, with Andy DeVito where he says, but anyway, and then I started blasting. Uh, it goes through my head every single time that I get to play all four stingers. Okay. Now each cycle deals four. And we're going to need them to deal four based on how much life our opponent has. Cycle. Cycle. And if need be, I could always play again if we're going to end up coming up short, but I don't think that's going to be the case here. Okay. Another at five. Yeah, we've got this. And let's cycle a dino. Actually, let's kill them with the Nash Barons. Respect. Okay. We did not deserve to win game number two, but we did. And I'm just going to run it back. Same list. Respect to our opponent, though, not joking. Uh, they have a great choice in basics. I love Invasion Basics. And the force that they use is also the same force that I use. So I appreciate that. Um, and a little bit of a trap. We have three blue cards in it. That said, I kind of like it. They've taken a mulligan. So you don't have to cast Ploy on the combo turn. So I, I do like that. Now we can just go get our blue source. Okay. Growth. And the armor. Let's go get our island. Okay. Going to 17. See what our opponent does here. This is definitely a matchup where I miss the darkness that used to be in the deck. Yeah, the fast clock, and they're holding up to spell too. We're going to 10. Cycle. Cycle. And another architect. Okay, so. They have two cards. I'm going to pass. So, it's a little bit risky, but what are they doing? Okay, we're probably dead to that. 16. Um, I don't know if I can cycle enough to stay alive here. Songs makes three. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this off. All right, Dark Ritual. Other songs. Uh, Cabal Ritual's not good enough. So I think we just lost. Um, yep, they got it. GG's opponent, GG's, and we are now 3-1. I could have tried that on my main phase if you're wondering about that. But the problem is that they were representing having Dispel in hand. And just like me going for it there just like guarantees that I lose. Where if they don't have mass, but if like for some reason this was... Um, armadillo cloak i get to ploy into killing them on my turn so they happen to have the mask it is what it is but uh three ones not bad two rounds left to go let's just focus on winning those match number five and we are on the play let's just bounce back after that tough round four loss this hand is obviously great we're going to keep this we're going to play baron more and then cycle ash barons so with the ash barons we want to get the island, but if we get the island, we can't cycle the horror of the broken lands. So we're a little bit conflicted there, but our draw step could change that. Also, depending on what our opponent's deck is, might change that. If they're a hyper aggressive deck, maybe we get the swamp. I'm not too sure. Okay, and it looks like they've kept seven. Let's kick it off. Let's play the Baron more. And what are you playing, opponent? 
forest. Elves, okay. I think I have to get the island here. It stinks a little bit. We need to draw some creatures in very, very quickly. Okay, and it is in fact elves. Three mana available. Best start. Cycle. I'm getting punished for getting the island here. Ah, that hurt. Okay. That really stung. Now they have the Timberwatch Elf. They might have lethal next turn. Wallwisher, okay. Taking five. Okay, I need to do something this turn. I'm gonna end up casting the Dark Ritual and Cycling. But this also might just be a go turn. Okay, those were two pretty good draws. Okay, cycle. Cycle. Let's Cabal Ritual. Cycle the Architect. Ooh, I like that as a draw. Okay, so I have a choice here on what I want to do with my blue mana. I can ploy, or I can get back the, or I can cast Teachings. I'm not really sure what the right move is yet. I almost want to ploy, because that way I can cycle more into the songs, I think. I can always flash back the Teachings. Yeah. So let's cycle this. Okay, cycle. I need to use one of the songs now. And then cycle healer. Cycle stinger. Okay. Going well so far. Keep cycling. Okay, now we teachings for the other songs. One song's left in the deck after this. 23 mana post Reaping the Graves. If this is only getting back 10. So we want to get back the good creature. So let's get back Street Wraiths, Horrors. I want to just skip down here to the Stinger, Street Wraith, Architect, Healer. Why not? Okay. So let's just cycle this, uh, the Street Wraiths because they don't cause me to spend mana. So cycling these. Calarian wins. I guess we could use that to theoretically draw a bunch of cards. And here we go. How many spells? Um we could draw like almost the rest of the deck. How many creatures are in the graveyard? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay. I'm going to play the Stinger now. We're not going to need to use Telerian Winds. Okay. And at this point, it's just going through the motions. Cycle this. Cycle Healer. Cycle Vantasaur. Okay. Pretty free to just play this stuff. Maybe they'll concede to this. Clicking through. We should be able to get almost everything back, if not everything back off of this, reaping the graves. That's everything. Just need to find uh, more stingers. We have 21 cards left on our deck, and there's three stingers in there. We can just play another stinger. It will reduce the amount of work we have to do. Auto yield. Okay. Go to four life cycle this. Another red source. And we're just cycling away. I mean, at this point, I might as well just finish them off with the one stinger I have if they're not going to let me draw the other ones. All right, complain and then you'll draw them. That's how it goes. Okay. Cycle. Okay, and this is going to do it. We've won game number one over elves. 
sweet. Okay, so when we're looking at our board, like Bogles, they're a deck that sides into spells against us, so we could board in Duress, but I think the best thing that you can actually do is just resubmit and accept that your opponent could have a dispel at some point, but it's very similar to Bogles, actually. They have very few ways of making the blue mana. It's mostly just uh, Virtual Rangers, so they're not even guaranteed to have it, and you're going to water down your deck by bringing in Duress to hit the dispel, so I don't even like it. Personally, I think I'm just going to run this back and try to plow through um, any copies of Dispel that our opponent may or may not have. Although I was thinking about it in between rounds after I lost, I can't help but wonder if I should cut a Shredded Sails and maybe the third Macabre for two copies of Darkness. But I lost to the Bogles deck, which happens, like losses happen. Uh, but last night I played a league practicing for today where I won my first four rounds, won game one against Slivers in round five, and lost both post-board games because my draws just never came together. And if I had Darkness in my deck, it would have like bought me a turn or two where I could have potentially have won. So I wonder if these two slots should just be copies of Darkness. I don't know for sure or not yet. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comments, but it's just something I'm considering. Um... If you haven't already, open up our description down below in this video. You will find seven lovely social media networks, and I would personally recommend the Discord. There's a lot of great combo conversation happening in there, so if you're a combo player and you want to get better, there's no better place than our Discord. A lot of people talking about strategy, sideboarding, etc. Definitely go check that out. But our other six channels, stay up to date on the latest and greatest information by following, liking, subscribing to those. Can't recommend it anymore. Game two, we're on the draw. Hey, this seems like a reasonable hand to me. Once again, we're going to play the Baron Moor and then cycle it for the island. We've opened up a lot of those hands today. Baron Moor, Ash Barons. Give me untapped lands. That's what I want. Lanor. Another Baron Moor. Gross. Okay. What do you have? That's another blue source. I forgot about the Sentinels and the Birch Lores. So they have two cards here and they're just passing. Okay, let's go get that island and pass. We can cycle a creature on their own step. So this attack will tell us quite a bit on what's in their hand. Okay, so they left this back. I think our opponent has a dispel. Sure. Yep, they have Dispel. Okay. Um, so if that's the case, I think I want to play out Healer and then just, like, start cycling. Because this is going to buy us some time. Another Forest. Oh, you don't want to Kamikaze your Elves into my Healer? Okay. Cycle this Healer. Untap. I don't want this Baron more. Okay. I'm doing a little bit of a lag here. Maybe I need to restart in between rounds. And I'm just going to pass. I suppose I could have gone Petal Ploy there. I'm going to pass, and then on their end step, I'm going to cycle Straight Wraith and Ploy. Honestly, I wouldn't mind drawing a Stinger and playing the Stinger out like I did the Healer. Wow, look at how much damage this Healer saved us. Sure. What is your goal here? What should I be... Am I missing something? Ooh, they brought in Viridian Longbow. Okay. That's a weird card to board in against me, in my opinion. So if they shoot this, they're losing their blue mana. All right, so we're going to respond to that. And now let's cast Ploy. Um, I think we get rid of the Ash Barons here. And Healer is dead. Right now, they do not have Dispel up. We found a window where they don't have Dispel. And we are going to Peanut Butter and Jam. Like a Vantasaur. There's our good friend, the Stinger. 
question is, I don't think I want to bring it. Six creatures in Graveyard? Yeah. All right, I'm not going to cast it. Like the Vantus Sword, because I want to bring back everything, and I think I want a flashback ploy. Discard this Lotus Petal. Okay. Gaining all the life. 31 cards left in deck after this draw. I'm not going to bother cycling that. Now reaping the graves for eight. Street Wraiths, Stinger, Street Wraith. I think that's a Horror of the Broken Lands. We don't have a red source yet for this Stinger, but we do have plenty of mana floating. We'll take another Reaping the Graves for sure. Okay. Looking for red source. Blood Celebrant, anyone? Can I get a Blood Celebrant? Another Reaping the Graves. All right, let's cycle the Stingers. Plenty of mana left. Cycle the Baron more. Healer. There it is. There's my trusty Blood Celebrant. My Legion's Loyalist. I don't know, I'm just saying words now. Uh, let's add a blue and cast this Teachings. Gonna add another songs, why not? So many mana. Okay. This is going to be the match. So today's event was exactly 64 people, which means that it's six rounds even, even though one more player would have made it seven. So only X1 is going to top eight this event, I believe. I could be wrong, but I think it's a clean cut to X1. So next round is a win and in for us, but we have to get the win. Uh, a loss will not get us there. Okay, Blood Celebrant. And let's start cycling. Okay. Well, I guess we can play out another Stinger. Why not? They're all friends. They deserve to be in play. Okay. Because I feel like it. Cycle. And that's the match. We are now four and one. Woot woot. All right. The final round coming up. Let's see if we can get it. Of Swiss at least. I hope it's not our final round, but you never know. All right. Stick here. Uh, yeah. Words, things. Round six coming up. The final round. Round number six. We are on the draw. And I'm going to keep this. So I was wrong. It looks like there's going to be one X1 that makes it. It could be me. I don't know, uh, but I'm just going to focus on winning this match. The way that it breaks down is I was actually the top X1. Uh, it looks like we have a tough match up here. Um, and with being the top X1, I think I'm actually going to play out this pedal. Uh, so that way, if I miss my land drop next turn, they can't spell setter the pedal. Um, but... A lot of my tiebreakers are also X1, and the person that beat me is XO. So we're just hoping to win this regardless, but uh, yikes, what a start. Okay, let's just focus on winning and not worry about tiebreakers. Uh, cycle. Okay. Spiritane. Two on the bottom. And Ninja, sure. Fairies here, and then maybe Delver. This could actually be a window for us to try to do something, but it's pretty risky. All right, they decided to not replay Delver, which probably means that they have uh, to get a spell or something. I'm going to cycle this. Land. A. And pass the turn. Okay. So we're going to go to 13 here. This is likely mono blue, if I had a guess. You don't see Delvers too often in uh, Split Color. Looks like every once in a while there's like a blue-black Delver, but that's sort of fallen out of favor at this point. Okay, so let's cycle the Stinger. Cycle a Healer. And Baron Moore. 
We're not in terrible shape. All right, so we're going to go to 10 here. And they're going to go to cleanup. Okay. And they are, in fact, mono blue. The voids, uh, the vapor sign gives that away. Let's go get an island with this. Now we have threshold. I'm just going to pass the turn. I don't need to do anything. Okay, so we're going to go to seven with the attack. And we have to assume our opponent has two counter spells up right now. Probably a spell stutter, maybe two spell stutters, uh, and at least one counter spell. So they're going to discard two here. I wonder if I want to try to um, go off here or if I want to wait. I think now's probably the time. Really, going after Dark Ritual? I'm, I'm fine if you want to go after Dark Ritual. Spell Pierce is interesting. Okay, so it turns out that they had triple counter, but that's fine. So now they likely only have one counter up. Okay, so if this resolves, I can pay for this Pierce. If they Spell Stutter this, uh, this Pierce, what I can do is I can cast Seed or Songs of the Damned and then continue winning. Okay. Am I allowed to have a Cabal Ritual? What about another Cabal Ritual? So we have to assume that our opponent has uh, a counter spell or a spell stutter in hand. Cycle. Go to five. Let's see if this teachings resolves. It does. Okay, so we're going to get a songs here. I imagine that they're going to counter spell songs. Yep. Okay. And now I just need to win off of what we have. Okay. So I could mystical teachings for another songs. I don't think that's a good move because we only have two songs left in the deck and we need a bunch of mana. So this made nine. It's actually a break. Uh, well, I guess it makes two mana if you do that line. I just don't think it's very good, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, let's get back Street Wraith. Okay. Cycle. Not going to cycle that. Cycle. Okay. We need mana. Cycle. There we go. Feeling better about this. Do I want to go to one? If I go to one, it shuts off um, the Blood Celebrant. But if I draw a Lotus Petal, I can hit the ploy. I'm going to go to one. Cycle. Okay. Cycle this. Okay, still looking for a Lotus Petal. I'm not allowed to cycle that for you yet. Cycle the Architect. Cycle Horror. There's Petal. Okay, cycle this. Cycle. I've already played my land. So I can cast Songs. And I do think I probably want to use the Ploy. Instead of just, like, casting Teachings. That was good. Um... Get rid of Ash Barons, and now I'm allowed to cycle this. I should have one more Songs left in the deck, so I'm going to Teachings for it. Look at the Songs. All right, and now we just need to draw into the Blood Celebrant. Looking through all of these. Turning every single creature, how lovely. We have 16 cards left. There's one Lotus Petal and one Blood Celebrant. Let's just start on cycling the Street Rates. Okay. And there's our Celebrant. So now things are going to be super easy. Okay, make another red mana. Stinger. And it looks like we've gotten game number one over Mono Blue. Why not? Let's play another Stinger. Okay. 
this is the boring part, but I love playing this deck. It's super fun. Like getting to this part is the fun part. Like once your your opponent's already dead and you just have to cycle a million times, it's not as interesting. But getting up till this point is always the best part. Okay. That is in fact game number one. So I think we want the mountain. We want these. I don't think I want the shredded sails. I think like I just want to stick with this board plan. Good hand. Would like to draw a land or two, but it's definitely a keep. Very seer. Okay. We get a few cycles in looking for land number two. We can cycle on their end step. On our main phase, we can cycle again, and then we have the street wraith. Do you have the ninja? They do. Okay. Let's see if we can draw an Ash Barons to go get uh, the mountain to pyroblast that ninja. Cycle. Okay, that gives us an extra look. Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Street Wraith. No hit. Cycle Stinger. That's a bummer. Um, I think we're supposed to discard the teachings here. There's a lot of looks at a land. We just didn't hit. Okay. Draw. All right, can I have a land now? It's just going to get spell stuttered. Um, I am going to discard the ploy. I think I might want both Pyroblasts. All right, so we're going to take three here, going to nine. Hmm. Let's see if I can draw a land. It's technically a land. But I didn't have to play out Puddle there. They might have another ninja if they were willing to play that. So this is four. I'm going to go to five next turn. Or this turn. So this is probably our go turn coming up. This Petal Resolve. I don't think I'm getting this one for what it's worth. Like, we just took way too long to find our land. Does this resolve? Nope. And unfortunately, I don't have a, a sandbag to land, so we're going to game number three. But that would have been a great window to win. All right, let's just resubmit. That was a game that I felt like slipped through our fingers a little bit. There was a few opportunities to take advantage there, and our deck just didn't cooperate. Okay, we're on the play. Let's do it. It's like Lash Barons for the Mountain. In theory, if I want to get really risky, we could try to turn two Horror, but if they left, left in Vapor Snag, we're going to look like idiots. Vapor Snag or Snap. Get the Mountain. Do I want to just accelerate into Horror of the Broken Lands? I think I do. All right, carry me home, horror. They brought out all the removal. That's what we're going to choose to believe here. I need you to be good. Under, okay. They chose the shuffle. Delver, okay. Huh. Let's uh, cycle. They didn't block. Okay. Delver. No flip is good. Interesting. They'd rather block with Delver. Okay. We're at 14. I need cyclers. Okay. Honestly, I might consider reaping the grave for one here. I don't know. Two on the bottom. Okay. Spiritine. Now they're discarding. Get in there. Sure. 
like I want to use Reaping the Graves to return uh, the Vantasaur, but it feels so much better if there was at least one more creature to get back, so it was a bad divination. Okay. They're moving to clean up again. Get in there. No blocks. Full cycle. I feel like they might have found the bounce spell. Yep, and there it is. Okay, uh, not the end of the world. Sure. Okay, they have five in hand. I think my next turn I might just end step teachings. And I haven't decided yet. But we're definitely on the back foot now. Under, okay. Like I said, I think this turn I just want to cycle or cast teachings. I don't know. Maybe that's wrong. Yeah, I'm going to cycle. I want to see if I can hit a land. Okay. As much as I love reaping the graves, it's just not what we need right now. We have five lands now. We're going to seven. Okay, so I am going to end step cast ploy, I think. So we're going to four. All right, cycle the Vantasaur. Cast ploy. They might counter this. Yep. We need some mana here. We have not drawn a whole lot of mana yet this game. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. Probably should have tapped the mountain instead of the island, but I wasn't expecting this to resolve anyway. So my backup plan was to play healer, which can in theory block the ninja, and then we can cycle. And it looks like we're dead. This was a close match. And our draws were just too clunky this game. See what our next draw would have been. Okay, so we are in fact 4 and 2, which is a pretty big bummer, especially winning game 1 here. Uh, we just have to hope that we're the X2 that squeaks in. Our tiebreaker did go 6-0. Uh, we faced Carves. They unfortunately lost the last round. Uh, Fine Spoo is one of our tiebreakers. Obviously, there's Drugo, who we just lost to. Um, so we need this person to win, Rotor. I think that's our breakers that are still live. Anyway, if you don't see me, I didn't make it. But if there's another round, sweet. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully we squeak in. Welcome to the top eight. We snuck in. We were the eighth seed, and we are on the draw against our Bogles opponent from earlier. We're going to keep this. It has everything we want. Uh, once again, we have our combo of Baron Moore and Ash Barons. But other than that, this hand's pretty good. So I'm going to just F6 through the first turn. And they have their Bogle. Okay, so on turn two, we're going to cycle Ash Barons for Island and then cycle one of these two cyclers. Okay, there's their Sprawl for White. Rancor. Okay. Whew. No armor there. Had a little bit of a break. All right, let's go get the blue source. We can just play this on tap next turn. We don't need to cycle it for a land. Armor makes it big. So no seven. No cards in hand. Okay. Just gonna cycle this now. Another land. Um so they're swinging for eight next turn. So if they draw an enchantment, I'm dead. I just don't feel like I have the tools to go off right now is the issue. And I fade one draw step. I think I have to. We're going to take eight, putting us to two in the street wraith is going to be shut off. They drew an enchantment. I'm dead. I am dead. Um, it's 11. Being on the draw. Damn it. I'm not going to be able to um, get it here, but if for some reason we drew into the. Uh, what is it called? 
the ploy, I could theoretically stay alive. Ploy? Alright, we didn't hit it. A little bit of a bummer, but that's fine. Alright, I think I'm gonna cut the Tolarian winds and bring in a ploy. Let's do that. Being on the draw is just so brutal. Also, having the tap land to start kind of hurt us. Can't keep that. Sure. So, I know it seems crazy that I'm bottoming the black source here. I just don't think the Lotus Petal is actually crucial. And there we go. I'm just going to be lazy and do this in my main phase. Okay, good start so far. Looking for more cyclers. Cycle. Cycle. Looking good. And there's their bogle. Cycle this. Is it go time? It might be. Still have a land drop too. Okay. So this is going to return all five. Not the str like I could have waited a turn. Like I'm oh do they no please don't have it. Okay. I was a little bit worried that they had uh fairy macabre there. Okay, cycle. I'm gonna cycle this, why not? Cycle. Like the songs. Okay. Cycle this. Now we have nine. No stinger yet, though. And there's only one songs left. Okay. Not cycling the Ash Barons. Architect. And there's the last songs. Okay. We need to make this one count. Another Reaping. Blood Celebrant's okay, but we need Stinger. Okay. I'm not going to cycle the Baron more. I'm just a little bit light on mana, so I don't want to burn it. And I can cycle the Healer here, because I have the Blood Celebrant. Okay. 24 cards left in deck. And we know that all four of our Stingers are in there. Trying to be careful and I'm targeting not to misclick on any of these. We have three street rates. So if I cycle all four, it gets a little bit hairy because I can't double um, Stinger. There's the ploy. That's going to fix that, but it costs mana. That's the downside. Dark Ritual. Okay, cycle. All right, no Stingers yet. Ball ritual. Cycle these. There's stinger number one. I'm just going to cast this. No, uh, I guess I don't need to. Just cycle. Okay, cycle. 15 cards left. A little bit nervous that we're going to come up short here. So I'm going to go down to eight mana, which means that. If I play the Stinger here, we're one mana short of lethal, so I'd have to draw into a Ritual effect. Okay. Come on, Doc. Be good to me, please. Teachings. There we go. Okay. That was a close one. Okay. So we've gotten game number two. Cycle this. Cycle Baron more. Cycle Healer. Okay, so we turn three them. Let's uh, just try to get the fourth one. I'm just going to resubmit. I think our deck list is fine. It's risky, but I'm keeping it. And our opponent's mulligan to five. Okay. Turn one Bogle. Let's just cycle this. Fast start. Okay. 
two cards left in hand. Um, I'm going to play out the petal so that way I can convert that into a land that actually has colors. Sprawl, okay. That's not that big of a deal. Uh, so we're dead to a top deck. I don't even want to say it out loud, but mask. Um, I'm going to pass. He chose red for the sprawl, which is interesting. Okay, that doesn't matter. So it does matter in the fact that they're going to go up to 34 life, which is a lot of life. Um, but the fact that we are still alive is really what matters here. So let's cycle the Architect. Dark Ritual is a great draw. Okay, it's time to see what we can do here. Cycle the uh, the Healer. Cycle Horror. Uh, that's seven, so we can cast Cabal Ritual now. Cycle Stinger. And Stinger. All right, so this is going to put us to two... We can't cycle another Street Wraith until we cast the ploy. I don't think I want to play the land yet. Ooh, the other songs is really good. Okay, um, let's cycle Baron more, actually. Love the Cabal Ritual. Blue, cast ploy, you can discard a land. Is land better than the other ploy? I don't think so. Okay, so now we can Cabal Ritual. And I think I'm actually going to hold on to the songs here. So I can make more mana with uh, this the Street Wraith. And then we can just start from the top. Okay, Cycle. Okay. I mean, I'll take another Reaping the Graves. You need to deal 34 in the end. Cycle. Okay. Cycle this. All right. Love the Cabal Ritual draw. Reaping the Graves. Whoop, don't want to cast that. Okay, Cycle Healer. 25 cards left in deck. Let's cycle this Ash Barons and go get a Blue Source. Now we can cast this ploy. And let's get rid of Street Wraith. Okay, now we can return double stinger and it should be pretty easy from here. That's why I chose to discard the Street Wraith over a petal. Okay. We should have it. Obviously it's not a guarantee. I mean it might be, I just haven't done the math. Okay. okay. We're going to have 16, I'm sorry, 15 mana, but we have some stingers in play. That should be good enough. Cycle. Okay, cycle. And if we draw, the, there it is, the last Lotus Petal. We can play another stinger, which just makes this super easy, and that is deterministic. Okay. Cycle. Looks like we are going to top four. Okay. Just keep cycling. Cycle Street Wraith. There's the last stinger. We're not going to need to cast it, though. And that is the match. We are on to top four. See you there. Top four time. We are on the Dragon's Lenny. It was last seen on Boros Monarch. I don't know if that's what they're playing today, but we're going to try this. I would like another land. That would be a great first turn draw. The Blood Celebrant and the Teachings are both like sort of dead right now, but can become live cards later. So that's why I'm not shipping this. But we're really keeping the hand for land plus triple cycler. And it looks like they are in fact on Boros. Ritual, okay. Just gonna have six here. Okay, Hawk. Picked up two Hawks. Okay, I like the Ash Baron's draw. Let's just go get the island. 
Okay, so now I don't have to burn the Dark Ritual, which is very nice. I was thinking about burning Dark Ritual the triple cycle there. Okay. Take one here. Cycle the healer. Okay, we're going places. Cycle healer. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, can we draw land off this? No. All right, so I'm just going to play Petal Pass. It's worth noting that this deck does have three copies of Prismatic Strands in the main, which is pretty hard for me to beat. Okay, and they're just trying to represent lethal next turn. Yep. So we're going to take one from Hawk. This is to 18. So if they have Rally next turn, Rally is 6 times 3 is 18, so that's lethal. Uh, so we're going to try to do something now. Okay, welcome to the party, Street Wraith. Love the songs. Perfect. Cycle the Stinger. Or the Broken Lands. I like drawing it. I don't know. I'm not going to complain about this chain of uh, rituals here. I can use the blue because I have the Celebrant that I can play. Okay. Um, like, kind of free to play the songs here. Because I can't cycle anymore. Celebrant. I don't know why our opponent is in F6. I mean, it's, they don't have to. Like, it's not the end of the world. But they could and just, like, save both of us some seconds here. Uh, so I'm going to use the blue... Let's go get another songs. Okay. Now reaping the graves. And this should return everything. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we can play double stinger and then just cycle our way home. Okay. Blood celebrant's just so good. Once again, shout out to Boundaries Blurred from the Discord for that amazing technology. All right, yield to this ability. Okay, and the Reaping the Grave seals it. This is now deterministic. <laughs> okay. Cycle. Cycle Street Wraith. They're at five. Actually, we just have it. We don't even need to cast the uh, the Reaping the Graves. The Ash Barons was the lethal card. And Cycle Ash Barons. We have taken game number one over Boros. Okay. And for some uh, transparency, this is their last list from September 19th. Today's October 3rd, so it could have changed since then. But no copies of Relic in the board. They do have our Prismatic Strands, Molten Rain. So we need to worry about Molten Rain and Strands. So I don't hate the idea of boarding in the mountain as an additional land and boarding in Flaring Pain. And we have to take two cards out. So I think we could probably shave one Architect and then maybe a Lotus Petal for the land, just for some added consistency. And let's call it a day. Hit that submit button. Friendly reminder, if you want to support this amazing popper content, head over to theepicstorm.com slash shop, where you can pick up a pint glass, a token pack, or my favorite, Storm 20 Baseball Tea. They're all wonderful things that I would personally recommend that you pick up. They're all high-quality products, so definitely go check that out. That is theepicstorm.com slash shop. Welcome to game number two. We're on the draw. We've opened up a fairly reasonable hand here. I'm going to try this. We do want a second land, but we have a Cycler, Straight Wraith. We have a couple draws to get there. We do have to be worried about Molten Rain on our Baron Moor. Okay, Basic Plains pass. We just have the Baron Moor. Pass back. And they have the Hawk. Okay. We're looking to draw land number two, so we're probably going to cycle the Horror uh, because it requires black mana, so if we draw an island or a mountain, we can cycle off a different one. And they have Prismatic Strands up, but honestly, that doesn't even matter that much. 
Um, I'm going to cycle the Street Wraith here. And I'm going to burn Dark Ritual just to see if we can hit the land. Songs. Land? No land. All right, we have to pass. And another Hawk, sure. You got it. I think I'm just going to cycle. And I'm going to discard Stinger. I'd want to hold the Lotus Petal for Storm. And another Hawk, you got it. We will eventually have to beat the Prismatic Strands with the Flaring Pain in the deck. I think it's go time. Alright, Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Cycle. There's the Flaring Pain. Kind of weird how these cards are both from Judgment. They're just like opposite of each other. <laughs> Okay, Lenny, what are you doing? Are you going to flash back the strands? What's the deal? Okay, so we have seven graveyard. So I'm going to cast the songs here. Uh, you could technically not cast it and then um, return one less creature. And then that way you can cycle with all the others on the stack to make more mana later. But I just don't want to fizzle due to not having enough cycler. So I decided to burn the songs first. Um, I'll cycle that. Why not? Okay. Beautiful. Let's just find the Blood Celebrant now. Okay, I'll take the Red Source. Actually, hold up. I'm not going to cycle anymore. Stinger. Ooh, I can respond to Strands now and kill them. And I have to burn the uh, Flaring Pain. Okay. Don't know why they're not responding. But I will return all my stuff. <clears throat> so they could flashback strands. I don't know if... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm like losing my voice. I don't know if they want to or what the deal is, but they've decided to have i I'm going to leave up the red source for flaring pain, though. They could on F6 at some point and try to flash back. Screw it. Ah, here they go. They finally on F6. I think I might try to kill them with that on the stack. Okay. Songs is pretty big. Okay. We are about to cash our ticket to the finals. Part of me wants to let it, uh, the strands resolve. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to. Because then I can dunk on them with the, uh, the flaring paint I've been sitting on. Okay, prismatic strands is resolved. Blood celebrant. Let's cast songs, why not? Let's play healer. Add a red. Flaring pain. And cycle. Okay. Ooh, we get to kill our opponent with double Ash Barons. Woot woot. Finals, here we come. Cycle Storm. One match left to go. Win or lose, we're in the finals. I hope you've enjoyed the ride so far. I'm pretty excited. This deck is terrific. I'll see you there. Welcome to the finals. Brent Cook here, and we are playing Cycle Storm if you're just skipping to the end. And we are on the Dragon's Mono Blue Delver, or Mono Blue Fairies, whatever you'd like to call it. This hand we cannot keep, unfortunately. We have to ship it. Okay, let's get rid of the Celebrant, and this hand seems okay. And there's a Delver. All right, I think I'm going to play with the Baron more. And Delver does not flip. That's a good sign. <clears throat> Excuse me. We had three pretty close matches against this opponent in round six. And fortunately, sorry, uh, and fortunately did not win them. <sighs> Forgot what I was going to say, but uh, we had like, they were just like really good matches. But I came up a little bit short in all of them. They did not shuffle off uh, the ponder. 
Okay, so this is probably going to flip. What? Okay. Interesting. Okay. No ninjutsu. There's here. Okay. Our opponent did have spell pierce in their deck, which was sort of a surprise thing for us. So we do have to respect spell pierce a little bit. And as of right now, I don't think we can go off on our turn. All right, another songs. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. And Delver. Dispel. Yikes. Not feeling too good about this game now. Okay. And they are wisely just going to pass here. Dark Ritual. Okay. Cycle Stinger. So if I cycle this, I'm dead to... Um, I mean, it's pretty improbable. They have three cards. One of them's a Dispel. I think I'm just going to pass. Of One Mind is a pretty good draw for them. And another Fairy Miscreant. Okay. So they have Dispel and one other counter up here. We're taking six. Let's cycle Street Wraith. Cycle the Baron more. So part of me wonders if I should Dark Ritual Teachings. See if I can... Well, I mean, that just eats the... Uh, I'm just going to cycle. Okay. So if they go after our Black Mana here, we're in trouble. I'm going to sandbag that swamp. Because if they go after both Dark Rituals, we could win. Okay. Okay, this is what we didn't happen in our first match against them, where they were very aggressive to counter stuff early. So now we can potentially punish them here. Um, songs. Cycle Stinger. I'm just going to play this as a land. Nope. Uh, no, I played my Swamp. That's right. Uh, songs. Teachings. Let's go get another Songs. All right, so I have one Songs left in the deck. Stinger. Not going to return Street Wraith. Well, I guess I can. Um, I was thinking that, like, I didn't have enough uh, Storm copies for some reason, but that's just not true. Okay, so let's start off by cycling Dino. Love the Cabal Rit, okay. Cycle the Architect. Okay, so Street Wraith a little bit awkward here. Another Dinosaur. Cycle Stinger. Alright, so now I can play the Healer. That way I can cycle these Street Wraiths. Um, let's cycle this Healer. Okay. So if need be, I can use the teachings to go get the last uh, songs, or I can just draw it. Okay. Cycle. Might as well keep it going. These are just free cycles when I have songs in hand. Okay. I wonder if I should go pull the other swamp out of the deck, or if that's just a waste of mana. Let's do it. Okay, and that gives me the red source I need for the stingers. Okay. Just being trying trying to be careful in selecting these. And when I go back over them, I try to go back over areas where I feel like I might have misclicked. Or if it doesn't matter, I just click randomly. Okay, play stinger. Let's cycle. Blood Celebrant, my dear friend. Okay, Blood Celebrant, do your thing. Allow me to cast all the spells. Okay. And we've got it from here. 
We did win game one in round six and then lost both post board games, so we're, let's not get too confident. Okay, they're at seven. Okay, so we've gotten game number one officially. Need to get one more. All right, so I definitely want that, and I want these. I'm not going to board in the shredded sails. Got the one pedal. I feel like I took out ploy last time and did this. Oh no, I took out teaching, or not teachings, Talarian wins. Yeah, this was the game plan. Okay, game number two. This is a solid hand. We're going to keep this. And we know now that they left in Vapor Snag too, so I don't really want to accelerate into Horror if I don't have to. The turn one Delver, the Menace. I think we're just going to go get the Red Source on turn two. Maybe we'll get the Island. I don't know. Counter Spell. Fairy, okay. It's probably better to get the Island. And uh, they're coming out of the gates. They have five power in play on turn two, and they're holding a counter spell in hand. All right, let's cycle. Yeah, we want the island, I think. Okay, so we're going to cycle the horror and then another creature. Okay, so we're falling to 12. Cycle. Okay. I think I'm gonna play out the Blood Celebrant. Like if this gets countered, sweet. Okay. So we're going to go to seven. Our opponent has double counter up most likely. Let's see if we can draw into a Dispel or a Pyroblast. Not what I wanted. Uh, let's go get a Swamp out of the deck. Okay. I think I'm supposed to pass here. Like, I just don't have the win, so what's the point in going for it? So we'll go to two, and I can use Celebrant once. But I can't cycle the Street Wraith anymore. Okay, let's cycle the Ash Bear, and let's go get another Swamp out of the deck. Okay, come on. Be good to me. They know that we have a swamp in hand, so they shouldn't fall for the same tricks they did before. Okay. Expect three creatures. <laughs> well, there's no way that we win this. Okay. Maybe they counterspelled the stinger. Okay, apparently not. I mean, I have to hope that they mess up. I think that's how I win this game. Okay. All right, game three. Just didn't work out. I'm going to leave it as is. I don't think I need to change anything. All right, the last game of the event, and I will keep this. Swamp pass. Delver again, you son of a gun. Okay. Delver does not flip, I like that. Ninja? Sure. Alright, so in theory, I mean, we've done a few turn threes this uh, event so far. I could try to go for a turn three here, depending on what our draws are. Blood Celebrant. Okay. Let's cycle Street Wraith. Cycle. Cycle. Ooh. All right. Cycle the healer. Kind of a bummer. Where's the action? All right. So we're on the back foot now. They have a, a ninja plus a delver. Very okay. Upkeep, let's take one of the, the last basic out of the deck. Okay, we just have to draw into um, Reaping the Graves. 
And they're not even going to cast spells. Okay, let's just pass. We had a window when we missed it. Wow, their hand must be stacked. Okay, so we're taking six, which means that they have lethal next turn. I don't know how we're going to do this. We need to draw into Reaping the Graves, like, immediately. Come on, duck. Be good. Okay, that's a start. Didn't need the land, though. So I'm going to play off the petals, trying to convince them not to counterspell um, any of the mana. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, please resolve. All right. So my only chance here is that we cycle into Songs of the Damned. So let's target Street Wreath first, so that way it returns first. Come on, Songs of the Damned, please. Ah. Uh, all right. So this has to be a Songs of the Damned. All right, we we came short, or fell short. That's a bummer. All right, so second place isn't too bad. And there is our lovely deck list. So if I were to play this deck list again, I would probably consider only one treaded sails and one or one less fairy macabre. So two macabres, one treaded sails, and then add in two darkness. Um, I'm pretty happy with my performance today. It's tough to be Mono Blue Delver, but I don't know. We we could have caught a few breaks and we didn't. It happens. That's a part of magic. Um, second place is still great. So thank you for watching. Keep storming. Have a great day. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.